It's a well-known fact that one of the most significant benefits of a multi-hull is its stability. This kind of vessel is highly dependable, not only at sea, where the tiresome business of healing actually does not, or should not, occur to any significant degree, but even while at anchor. It greatly expands a sailor's anchorage options to include those impacted by surface waves, where a slight shift in wind direction can make a previously smooth calm anchorage intolerable for a monohull. Its comparatively shoal draft expands the options even further. Multi-hull sailing yachts have numerous advantages including increased speed, increased protection from the elements, and more living spaces. In this episode, I'm listing my top selection of some of the best multi-hull sailing yachts you can buy at around $500,000, together with their price and features. I'll share my top pick near the end. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and leave a like on this video. Welcome to Harbor Masters, sharing with you information and updates on the latest boats and the best luxury yachts. Sailing at number 5 is the Bali 4.0. This multi-hull manages waves with remarkable pace and balance, despite its high and stubby profile, making everything look very much like a house than a yacht. It has a 105-gallon or 400-litre fuel tank capacity, and a freshwater tank capacity of 211 gallons or 800 litres. It comes with two standard 20-horsepower diesel engines, with an option to upgrade to 40 horsepower variants. The boat's well-aft rudders in the prop wash provide plenty of leverage, allowing adequate mid-size cruising capacity. It will take you across the water on a forward base at 8 knots. The Bali 4.0 has stunning interior architecture. The boat's interior joinery is made of Alpi, a well-known Italian composite material made of a mixture of thin African woods and laminated together with a lovely outer surface. A tasteful, calm and modern decor is completed with the inclusion of other complementary fabrics. The inner and outer sound levels are both kept at a comfortable level, helping you to relax when cruising. The base price for this yacht starts at $550,000 US dollars. Number 4 is the Lagoon Catamaran 46. This yacht modifies the popular fan favorite, the Lagoon 450. The use of vacuum-infused balsa coring above the waterline, and reconstituted Alpi wood veneer in the interiors, significantly lower its gross weight. The trapezoidal lacquered vertical windows appear seamless at first glance, but they are actually made up of a collection of separate panels. This yacht has a total fuel capacity of 274 gallons or 1,040 litres, and a freshwater capacity of 158 gallons or 600 litres, distributed across the two hulls. It comes with two standard 57 horsepower diesel engines, delivering a top speed of up to 8.5 knots. Inside, the social room, which includes the saloon and galley, is on the same level as the cockpit. Twin isotherm refrigerator drawers are also located to the starboard side. In the same location as the sink and stove is an undercounter freezer. There's plenty of storage for supplies and galley equipment, and the microwave has been encased into a side wall near the chest floor, so guests won't have to worry about hot drinks sloshing all over the head. With nearly 800 units of its predecessor already on the market, it's fairly obvious how much new research and development has made this model even more flawless. The base price for this multi-hull starts at $620,000, but used options are now available at around $525,000. At number 3 is the Majestic Leopard 42. It's a welcome development from the best-selling Leopard 40. The exterior styling was adapted from the award-winning Leopard 50, 
with continuous hull side windows, a hardtop, and an upper lounge area that has become synonymous with the Leopard brand. It comes with two 45 horsepower Yangma diesel engines with sail drive technology, with a fuel tank capacity of 158 gallons or 600 liters. It also has a total water tank capacity of 174 gallons or 660 liters, distributed evenly across the two hulls. This yacht can achieve an incredible maximum speed of 9 to 10 knots downwind. The galley has been moved forward in this new catamaran, and the saloon and aft cabins have been revamped to provide more living space for passengers. Between the cockpit and the saloon, the added sliding doors build a large entertainment area or living room. The boat's storage units were also cleverly rearranged, and there are several opening hatches and portholes. This multi-hull slick appearance paired with its blue water results may be the brand's hallmark, but it's the forward-facing galley's excellent visibility that makes it a worthwhile purchase. The estimated starting price for this model is US$620,000, but many used boats with just a few years on them can fetch an average price of $480,000. At number 2 is the Sea Wind 1190. The 1190 Sport was engineered for sailors who want fast paced performance without compromising comfort or range. Francois Perouse and Alan Carwardine, two of the industry's leading multi hull designers, collaborated on the 1190, which is a version of the iconic 1160 cruising range. The Sport variant has all of the benefits of a modern sports catamaran without affecting its ability to sail long distances. This unassuming cat is powered by two 20-horsepower Honda Marine engines. It has a fuel tank capacity of 71 gallons or approximately 270 liters and fresh water capacity for 185 gallons or 700 liters. The interior is simple but well-designed for long-distance travel, with the galley in the starboard hull and cabins fore and aft. The owner's cabin is forward to port, with an athwartship bunk. The aft has the best head but a second albeit much smaller head is available in the starboard hull. The layout is well done all throughout with the hull made of quality resin and foam base. This multi-hull has a starting price of US$519,000. Finally, at number one is the Fontaine Pajut Astria 42. This catamaran was built by being mindful of saving weight in the process. Balsa core was placed for the top sides of the infused hulls, up to just below the water surface, and foam core was utilized in the injected decks. The bulkheads are all composite laminates, but the furniture and trim are made of alpi wood. The small keels, which boost tracking and stability, are sacrificial blades that are glued to the hulls rather than bolted, so they can shear off and not damage the vessel's integrity in the event of a rough grounding. The engine compartments are large and easy to navigate. It's powered by two 30 horsepower diesel engines with an option to upgrade to 50 horsepower alternatives. It features an ample 124 gallon or 470 liter fuel tank and it has two 92 gallons or approximately 350 liters of freshwater reservoir capacity. The main cabin, running the entire length of the starboard hull, which can be closed off to create a completely private room, can be considered a work of art. The aft queen-sized berth is beautiful, with convenient access from the foot. The spacious office is an excellent place to get some work done, while on the water. Likewise, many high-end hotels would admire the separated head and massive shower stall all the way forward. Throughout this vessel, great attention to detail has been given. A fully furnished version can fetch a minimum of US$530,000.
do you think of my list of the top multi-hull sailing yachts around $500,000? Did I miss anything you'd like to add? Which one here is your favorite? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe, if you want more great boating content. One of my favorite topics is obviously sailing yachts, and I already have a few lists uploaded, featuring some of my favorite brands and models. I'll be uploading a few more in the coming weeks. Until then, thank you for watching and smooth sailing.